Hi, this is Synth Chaser from SynthChaser.com and a lot of my videos I've used this little op amp tester that I built. I've had comments and emails asking if they were available for sale, but it was really just a one-off for my own use. Well, enough people asked me about it that I decided to make a short run of them available. My op amp tester is super simple. It's powered with a 9 volt battery. There's sockets for single, dual, and quad op amps. You pop an op amp into the appropriate socket and for each op amp on the chip, you should see a flashing LED. If the LED is either always off or always on for one or more of the op amps in the chip, your chip is bad. Here I've got some brand new chips installed. I've got an LM301 in the single socket. I've got an LM1458 in the dual socket. And I've got a TL084 in the quad socket. Many op amps, while having different electrical characteristics, have the same pinout. So you can drop a variety of different op amps into this tester and it'll work. Some examples of the single op amps it works with are the LM301, the 741, TL071, TL081, and so on. Anything with that pinout will work in this tester. Dual op amps like the 1458, 4558, TL072, TL082, etc. will work in, in the dual socket. And quad op amps like the LM324, TL074, TL084, etc. will work in the quad sockets. So any pin compatible op amp should work in this tester. There are fancy linear IC testers that test op amps and they probably do a better job at testing a wider variety of chips, but they're super expensive. This is a quick and dirty solution that just uses passive components and some LEDs, so it's orders of magnitude cheaper. And while the fancy testers tell you whether they pass or fail, they don't actually show the mode of failure. With my tester, you can see how the op amp failed, which can give you valuable insight that you can use to refine your troubleshooting skills. So let's have a look at some bad op amps here. Here's an LM301. Let me pop it in here, and the LED stays off, so the IC is dead. Either that or the uh, output is stuck low. Here's another LM301. Put that in and the LED is stuck on, so either the output is stuck high or the chip is short circuited. You can usually tell if a chip is shorted or the output is stuck high by putting in a good op amp in the other slot. And we see that those LEDs are, are flickering. So this chip is just stuck high. If it was shorted, then these LEDs would either be all off or all on. Basically, a shorted chip will affect the LEDs of good chips. Here's an RC4558. I put that in and both of the, the dual output LEDs are off, so that probably means the chip is dead. Here's an MC1458. Put that in here. And on this one, the uh, op amp A, the, f the first op amp on the chip, the uh, LED is off, and the second one, the LED is stuck on, so go figure that one out. But regardless, that's a bad IC. Uh, here's a TL084 that I pulled out of an Oberheim that was having some interesting problems. And if we take a look at that, so 4A and D are flashing, but B and C are not. So two of the four op amps on this chip are working fine, but two of them are dead. And that caused some pretty weird problems. Knowing that, that those two particular op amps were dead explained a lot of what was going on and helped me with my troubleshooting. So because it doesn't use many active parts, there may be a quirk or two to this op amp tester. One that I noticed is for fast single op amps, the LED may flash so quickly that it looks solid. I'm not sure with the refresh rate of the uh, camera if you'll be seeing a solid light here, but I see a very fast blinking light. Uh, to remedy this uh, fast blinking on the single op amps, what I usually do is I keep a dual op amp plugged in as well, and that slows down the flashing for the single op amp. So another little quirk that I noticed is because I use super bright LEDs, there's a little bit of ghosting. That is, I can see a little bit of light flickering on empty positions, so where there's no op amp inserted, I can still see the LEDs flickering a little. It's really simple in the way it works. Each op amp is configured as a very slow square wave oscillator. When the oscillator is high, it drives the corresponding LED. 
It's made with about 45 surface mount parts, so manual assembly of these is a chore. So I've only made a few of them, and you can get one on my website, synthchaser.com. If it's listed as out of stock, send me a message, and when enough people are interested and I've got the time, I'll make another run of them. This has been Synth Chaser from synthchaser.com. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.